Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and this is your stimulus check update for the next stimulus package for Monday, January 4th. I hope everyone is off to a good and safe start to their Monday so far. In this video, I'll be discussing updates in regards to the current relief package and the second stimulus check. I'll also be discussing the $2,000 direct payments, what some economists are saying about them now, and then I'll be wrapping up this video by answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. But first, if you wouldn't mind real quickly liking this video, give me a big thumbs up. It really just helps with the YouTube algorithm in terms of pushing this video out to other viewers like you and hopefully helping other people like you as well. Okay, so if you were hoping for a new house speaker over the next two years, you may not be overly happy that Nancy Pelosi, unsurprisingly, was elected once again. Despite facing opposition from a few moderate Democrats who thought Pelosi shouldn't have a fourth term as speaker, she was still able to get just enough votes to win. Pelosi won by a total of 216 to 209, topping her Republican counterpart, Kevin McCarthy. Now, Nancy Pelosi does say this will be her last term as speaker, but still, for those unhappy with her work during the recent relief negotiations, I'm sure this won't come as very pleasant news. In other stimulus news, with many lawmakers and economists urging on the need for additional relief, including $2,000 stimulus checks, some other economists, such as White House economic advisor Stephen Moore, say they're not sure that we need another massive stimulus bill to see economic growth this year. During a recent interview, Moore said that recent estimates show the economy would get better without all the excess spending by the government. Moore said that instead of all the increased spending, they should focus more of their time on getting the vaccine out there. He believes that we need to put ourselves in a position to go back to work safely and that everything fixes itself from there. Of course, that fails to address the many American families that went into poverty during this time. So that was Trump's economic advisor saying that. On the flip side of things, we also have a former Barack Obama economic advisor in Christina Romer who says that stimulus checks are pretty much worthless. She believes that instead of this money being used to stimulate the economy, instead people are simply saving the money or using it to pay down debt. So even though most of us support them, including the sitting president, House Speaker, and many lawmakers, Romer believes that the first round of direct payments didn't really do all that much. She said they were not necessarily fair and that they also didn't help the sectors that were hurting the most. Instead, Romer argued they should target the money towards state and local governments whose budgets are in shambles. She said that there are budget shortfalls larger than during the financial crisis, which will likely result in spending cuts across states. Additionally, Romer argued that essential workers should have received extra money as well, saying that no one doing essential work and exposing themselves to the virus should receive less money than someone on unemployment insurance. Just last week, we heard from another member of the Obama administration, Treasury Secretary Larry Summers, who also heavily criticized the possible $2,000 direct payments, calling them a pretty serious mistake. Of course, there's the economic side and the human side. As Josh Hawley said, if we have billions of dollars to throw towards pork, including to museums that aren't even open and foreign countries, then surely we can find enough money to send to Americans. We should make sure that American families are taken care of first, end of story. Oh, and just in case Mitch McConnell was curious about how voters in Georgia felt about the increase in direct payments up to $2,000, they were pretty dang popular. In a survey, they found that 75% of people supported the increase up to $2,000, whereas 9.5% of people said they didn't want a check at all. 7.4% of people said they liked the checks to remain at $600, whereas nearly 8% of people had no opinion on the issue. Presumably, as one Twitter member said, the 8% that didn't have an opinion would use the $2,000 to light a cigar. We got jokes. So, with the Georgia Senate runoff elections taking place tomorrow on January 5th, we'll all have to turn our focus to that. With the Democrat sweep, the Senate would be tied at 50-50 with the tiebreaker going to Democrats, with Kamala Harris being the tiebreaker. This would then make Chuck Schumer the new majority leader and would allow him to get a bill on the floor for the increase in these direct payments. On the other hand, a win by Republicans would help them remain their majority, and if you're a Republican, this helps your party because it helps counter a Democratic majority in the House and a Democratic president. One thing I will say though is that even if Democrats do sweep Georgia, we'd still need to have at least 10 Republicans in the Senate on board for the increase in direct payments. 
That's because in the Senate, we need at least 60 votes to pass these types of bills. So there's certainly no guarantee one way or another. With that said, this is definitely an election to keep an eye out on and an extremely important one, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. Okay, so at this point in time, I'm gonna move right along to answering some of the comments and questions that I received in my previous video. And if you do have any other comments or questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I do try to answer as many of the comments and questions as I possibly can, but for those comments and questions I'm not able to respond to, I do try to pick some of the more popular ones to answer in the next video in video form. Okay, so without further ado, let me go ahead and jump into the first comment of today's video, which is from Colleen. Colleen says, can you tell me the number to call to see if you are getting a stimulus check and the number to call to report your checking account information? Okay, thank you so much for your question, Colleen, and the best number to call in regards to your direct payment would be 1-800-919-9035, and I would recommend calling just a little bit earlier in the day just to avoid those longer hold times. When you call them, they should be able to let you know whether you're eligible or not, but I am not sure if they'd be able to update your bank account information. More than likely not. However, if you have changed banks since you received your first direct payment, then most likely, you'll end up receiving a check in the mail this time around. Also, if you were eligible for the first stimulus payment, then you should also be eligible for this one as well. Okay, moving right along to the next question of today's video, which is from Fantasia. Fantasia says, I didn't get my money at all. Okay, thank you so much for your question, and I'm so sorry that you never received any of your payments. If that also includes the first direct payment, there could be a few different reasons on why you missed out. The first reason is that you may not be eligible to receive one. For example, if you're being claimed as a dependent on someone else's tax returns, then unfortunately, that would make you ineligible to receive your payment. On the other hand, if you are eligible for the stimulus, but you haven't received it, it's possible the IRS just may not have all your information on file. So for example, if you haven't filed a tax return within the last two years, the IRS requested that you fill out the non-filers tool by November 21st, of last year in order to receive your payment. That deadline has already passed, but you're not completely out of luck. What you'll need to do at this point is file a tax return this year and claim an $1,800 credit, which would be from the first direct payment of $1,200, in addition to the second one of $600. Even though I'm sure you would have much rather have received this money earlier, getting it later is certainly better than never receiving it at all. All right, moving along to the next question of today's video, which is from Carla. Carla says, is SSDI, etc., getting a $200 per month raise? Okay, thank you so much for your question, Carla, and that's still completely up in the air. If you remember, one of Joe Biden's plans upon entering office is to increase payments for those on Social Security benefits by $200 per month. However, he won't be able to immediately come into office and create an executive order to do so. In order to get this done, a bill would need to first pass through both chambers of Congress before being signed into law by the president. So there are certainly no guarantees of this happening. For one, affordability is certainly an issue. Now, the plan by Biden to get this done would be to start forcing those earning over $400,000 per year the 6.2% Social Security tax. At the moment, the 6.2% Social Security tax it's only applied to an employee's first $137,000 in income. Then the employer will match their contribution at 6.2% as well. After that, none of the income is further taxable. For self-employed individuals, they pay double that at 12.4% on their first $137,000. So we'll just have to wait and see whether his plan is able to be executed. With that said, I'll definitely make sure to keep you updated one way or another. Okay, moving right along to the last question in today's video, which is from Christopher. Christopher says, if you use the nine followers tool for the last check, do you have to do it again? Okay, thank you so much for your question. And if you use the nine followers tool for the first direct payment, then no action is necessary this time around. The main reason you had to use the nine followers tool for the first round is to get the IRS your information so they'd be able to send you your payment. Since they now have all of your information on file, you do not need to take any action which is a good thing because the non followers tool isn't even working at the moment. With that said, if you haven't received your payment already, I'd expect that you should receive it at some point this week. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If you did enjoy the content in this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel 
It is completely free to do so, and it's a great support to me. Also, if you'd like to receive four free stocks from Weeble, with two of them valued all the way up to $1,600 each, or one free stock from Robinhood just for signing up, please feel free to claim those free stocks by clicking the link in the description box below. And finally, if you join Rakuten with my referral link in the description box below and spend at least $20, Rakuten will give you $20 cash back. This means that you can buy an item through Rakuten with one of their referral links, such as Nike, for $20, which would be right around $22 after tax, and Rakuten will give you $20 just for making that purchase. This is just an incredible deal that I would love for everyone to take advantage of. Okay, so until next time, I'll see you guys, and I hope you have a great day today.